Good morning, I hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Wiens, I'm in Luang Prabang, Laos, which is a gorgeous historical, and it's a UNESCO city in Laos. And there's a lot of amazing food to eat. For lunch today, we're going to a restaurant called Le Elephant, which is a French Lao restaurant. It's mostly French, but I think they also have some Lao dishes. It's one of the most highly regarded, higher end restaurants in Luang Prabang. So I have a reservation there for lunch. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, we're on our way to go eat lunch right now. It's right down the street from the Mekong River and this is a very peaceful area of Luang Prabang. It's on the peninsula. There are boutique hotels around this area. There are restaurants. There's a temple right here. But this is the area of Luang Prabang that's one of the most serene areas to walk around. It's quiet, it's peaceful. When you're walking around here, just this, this peace and calm just overwhelms you. So far since being in Luang Prabang, I've eaten all Laotian, Laotian, Lao food. Uh, and so I thought it would be interesting to try a French restaurant. Uh, but what I like about them is that on their website, they say they use all local Lao ingredients. And they even have their own farm where they source the ingredients from. All right, that's all I have to say. It's now 10.54, reservation is at 11 a.m. Let's go have lunch. Reservation for Mark? Mark? Yes, for three. Oh, for three adults, yes please. You step inside the restaurant. It has a great open feel to it. I love the wood. Uh, they have an indoor section which is nice and breezy and then they have this patio outdoor section which is sort of covered by a it looks to be a bamboo roofing uh, with curtains on the side here, which is a really nice open air, breezy environment. They have the fans going, and we are here first for the day. I love these chairs, the, the wicker basket uh, style seat and the wood. Oh, oh, they're pretty comfortable too. That's kind of that kind of gushes down a little bit. Just skimming through the menu now, they start off with salads and soups. Uh, they have more starters and then entrees, main courses. Oh, a whole selection of pates as well. And if you look at the descriptions of the the dishes, yeah, what is really cool is that it's. It, I mean, they have a mix of French, but they also have some Lao dishes on the menu. But they also use some specific Lao ingredients in the French cooking. Now the tough choice is to decide what to order. The Flemish meat stew. The cabernet. Yes, please. And then let's have the, the Mekong yeah. fish, fish stew. stew. Yes, thank you very much. And yeah, to be honest, I just have so little experience with French cuisine. I, I would love to learn more, but I tried to choose some dishes that use mostly local ingredients, uh, but French cooking. And for this meal, I'm not eating alone. Ying and Micah are here. Look at that high chair, Micah. And <laughs> buddy Joel is here too. I'm gonna start off with some bread. Oh, that feels, oh, the crustiness of that. Add a little butter on that. <laughs> Oh, the bread is slightly warm and that yeah that that crunchiness of the crust wow oh yeah that is a perfect baguette crusty fluffy on the inside with that butter I was just reading this building is from 1960 but the restaurant was uh, started in this building in 2000. It's been renovated. It, they've done a really good job though. I like that. I like the wood. It looks like some of the panels and some of the, the shutters are still original, uh, but they've added a really nice wooden floor. The tables and the chairs are beautiful. I especially like these chairs with the, the whisk, wicker bottom. <sighs> <laughs> So I specifically asked them to bring all the food together because I wanted to see it all on the table, all in its magnificence, and it all has come all at once. All the dishes we ordered, we ordered five dishes, I think. It all looks good, but the dish that I have to eat is the steak tartare, which is made with buffalo. So what's cool about this tartare is that it's, yeah, it's made with local Lao buffalo. Uh, you can see everything's mixed up already, but then he said there's some extra ingredients. You can see the, there's some pickles, some capers, there's an egg in there, I think, and then shallots or onion, diced up Lao buffalo.
Mm-hmm. Oh, that's, that is superb. Oh, I'm a huge fan of raw meat. And that buffalo, mm, it's really mellow in taste. And what I like is that you can taste the pickles in there. It has that vinegary pickle flavor. You can taste the little crunches of the onion or the shallot in there. And then just the creaminess of the yolk. That meat is shining. And then just those capers on top. Yeah, this is a dish. I don't even want to move on until it's over. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so good. What's the sourness inside? The pickles. And the perfect papers. blend of chewy and crunchy. Oh man, and smells amazing as well. Probably the chili, the pickles as well. The next dish is the chef's salad, and the, the presentation is beautiful. It's Ooh. like a, a foundation of lettuce underneath there. There are eggs and tomatoes surrounding it. Then, I can't remember what it is. Is it, is it chicken? A layer of chicken? Uh, but the, the bacon layer is my favorite layer, and then the, the, also the tomato on top with some uh, feta cheese and a sprig of what looks like mustard greens or some kind of yellow flowers sprouting from the very top of the pyramid of salad. I'll set this aside. Um, kind of dig in from the center here. Oh, you gotta, you gotta have a piece of bacon in the bite. You gotta have a piece of the, the chicken. There's some dressing with some of the lettuce. I think that's about all I can do on my... Oh, get some of the cheese. I'm gonna grab some of the cheese out of the tomato. Onto the bacon. I think that's about all I can do on this first bite. Oh, that's like a lettuce bacon sandwich. That bacon and the lettuce is very good too. I think all the vegetables used in the cooking are from their garden. That's fantastic. Excellent. The next dish is a local Lao buffalo stew. And what's cool about this is that it's cooked with beer Lao as well, which is the national beverage of Lao. And there's chunks of beef served with french fries, and he sprinkled some pepper on it. Let's just try some of that sauce and that meat first. Mm. Mm. You can taste maybe the, maybe some cardamom in that stew. Um, it has or a cinnamony taste to it. The butter in there, the reduced beer Lao in there. It's been a long time since I've had fries. Those are great. Okay, the next main course that we got is a Mekong fish dish, a Mekong fish stew. Oh, it's, it's with the reduced mustard sauce. So you can see the mustard seed in there. It's been sitting for a little while, so you can see kind of that, that uh, sauce crust going on, but I, I'm sure it will still taste good. There's nuggets of Mekong fish served with rice and vegetables. Okay, I'll scoop that nugget from the bottom there. Oh, I wanna really, really coat it in as much sauce as possible. Mm. Oh, that one, that one's a stunner. Oh, that fish is buttery. It just melts in your mouth. But you just, you just taste the faint hint of the mustard, the mustard seed, and then, and then just slight pepper on there. That fish though, mm. And it, that, that's freshwater Mekong fish. The Mekong is just meters down the road. That's fresh. I mean, you can taste the freshness. The quality of the fish stands out. Oh, that melts in your mouth. Mm. Buttery is an understatement of the fish itself. Okay, and then the final dish that we got is a wild boar tejin, which is like a, I think it's like a, some type of a meat loaf. Um, it's, I'm not sure what's all in it. I'm not even sure if I've ever had it before. Uh, served with lettuce. And look at that texture going on on the inside there. Mm. Oh, I taste the cognac in there. I forgot on the menu it said cognac as well. Oh, it's not as like, soft as I was thinking, you still taste the the texture of the meat in there, or you feel it. But then it also does have like a, a little bit of a, a smooth pate-like component in it as well. It's it's interesting for me. I, uh, I probably prefer the other dishes, but that's 
It's good. I do really appreciate these French flavors. Um, and, and yeah, the food, the quality here is, is great. The ingredients um, are, are very good. I, all the dishes are, are spectacular. Uh, but I do have a severe addiction to chilies. And they, they give us some chopped fresh chilies to go along with this. Uh, I think it would complement especially the beef stew and the fish very well. Oh, and the tartare. Oh yeah, I want all those chilies. Those chilies do taste very fresh. They are spicy. Yeah, they are spicy. Oh, that goes great with the beef. And I'm sure it would go well with everything else too. I'm gonna sprinkle a few of these guys on. Oh, and I might, we better use that extra yolk, which is in a, oh, 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 look at that. Oh, oh, just spill it out of that little cucumber cup. The yolky goodness. Okay, mix this up again. <laughs> I'm gonna, I, I may as well just add it all actually because they, they give you these other ingredients to all mix in. Okay, I'm gonna make this bite count. Oh, it's falling, it, oh it's slumping, okay. Mm-hmm, oh. That's, that's the combination right there with those fresh chilies. Yeah, I think this is the best dish. But I am, hmm, probably I like the, the buffalo tartare as well as the Mekong fish. Those are my two favorite dishes, but that, the buffalo stew is also excellent. The salad is also excellent. to say that I completely forgot about my napkin this entire meal. Thank you very much, Kopjai. Thank you very much. Kopjai. Joel, what did you think of lunch? That was my first time for such, such a high quality meal like that. that oh, sour. Man, the fine dining. I can see how you can learn to appreciate that. Every <laughs> bite you just enjoy slowly and each flavor is there in the mind of this. What was your favorite dish? dish? That, the tartare, the buffalo tartare. Amazing. So yeah, we finished with lunch. Uh, I th that was a very satisfying, very good meal. The one downside for me is that the portion sizes were, were not too big. I'm not really that full. I could have kept on eating for a while, but the quality was there. Uh, I enjoyed the mix of Lao ingredients uh, with the French cooking, the French dishes, the, yeah, the steak tartare with the buffalo. That was the highlight of my meal there, but also I really enjoyed the Mekong fish and also the setting, the, the service was good, the setting, you feel like you've taken a step back in time. Our total bill for everything we ate, we also had an omelet for Micah, uh, the total bill for everything that we, you, you, we, I showed you was 690,000 kips. Uh, so it's a bit of a splurge meal in Luang Pabang, but it was really nice. That's it for this review of Le Elephant French restaurant in Luang Pabang. Uh, it was totally different from most of the food that we've been eating throughout this trip, uh, but it was great for a change. And I'll have some information in the description box that you can check out. And also remember to click subscribe and click the little bell icon so that you get notified of all the future videos that I publish. And thank you again for watching this video. I'll see you on the next video.